Bennett Marine Hydraulic Trim Tab System is an excellent addition to your boat and will help balance loads, plane faster, and increase efficiency and performance. Your authorized Bennett Marine retailer can assist you with this project from ordering parts to offering product information and advice, Bennett Marine retailers are there to help. Remember that if you do tackle this job yourself, please follow all applicable laws and remember to use the appropriate safety gear. Before installing the hydraulic trim tab system, open the boxes and make sure all the necessary parts are in the kit. A complete hydraulic trim tab system consists of the trim plane assemblies, the hydraulic power unit, tubing and hardware, the hydraulic actuators, and the helm control with wiring. The control option shown here includes the relay module and the helm control. An installation manual is also included. Bennett Marine's general guidelines are to mount the trim tabs at least 8 inches from the center line and 3 to 4 inches from the chine. Anywhere in that area is okay as long as the measurements are symmetrical. And yes, the trim tabs can even be mounted over the strakes. Measure and mark out from the center point to find the outside edge of the trim tab. In this example, the hole has been designed so that the outside edge of the trim tab should be flush with the groove of the chine. Mark the position for the outside edge of the trim tab. Measure and mark a quarter inch above the bottom of the hole to mark the position of the bottom of the trim tab plate. Begin by holding the backing plate against the transom in the orientation indicated by your specific installation instructions. Then align the backing plate with the reference line and mark the holes. Using a 5-32nd drill bit, drill the holes slightly shallower than the lengths of the screws. Clean the area and use 3M5200 or Cicaflex 505 to fill each hole. Connect the holes with a continuous line to create a better seal. Align the backing plate and the hinge plate so that the holes line up. Feed the fasteners through the holes and attach the plate to the transom. Don't tighten the fasteners all the way yet. Leave a gap between the backing plate and the hinge plate to slide in the plane assembly. Insert the trim plane so that it's centered and tighten the fasteners. Ensure the hinge can pivot properly, then recheck that the fasteners are tightened. Once all the fasteners are secure, use a soap and water mixture or 70% alcohol to clean off the excess sealant. Remember that excess sealant around the edge is a good thing. It means there's a complete seal. Attach the actuator to the plane assembly with the two fasteners. Setting the height and angle of the trim tab is crucial. Using a gauge is highly recommended to maintain the correct position. The back edge of the trim tab should be one half inch above the bottom of the hole for nine inch cord tabs and five eighths of an inch above the bottom of the hole for 12 inch cord tabs. Measure at the center of the tab. Using the gauge to ensure the trim tabs are in position, mark all five holes in the upper hinge. Use a 3 16 bit. On the three corner holes, drill slightly shallower than the length of the fastener and enlarge and bevel the rim of the hole. The two remaining holes are for the rigging harness and hydraulic tubing and should be drilled all the way through the transom. Drill all the way through the transom with a 5 16 drill bit.
widen the upper left sensor wire rigging hole to make room for the wires. Drill all the way through the transom with a 5 16 drill bit. Note that certain systems do not require sensor wires. If an actuator's sensor wire is not present, ignore this step. Use a 3 4 inch drill bit to drill about an inch deep into the center hole to make room for the nut that will attach to the upper mount. Clear out any excess material that would block the passage. Bennett actuators can actually ship with or without pre-connected tubing. For actuators without pre-connected tubing, thread the pipe nipple into the actuator upper mount and hand tighten. Then use a pair of vice grips to turn the pipe two full turns and no more. Note that certain systems ship with pre-connected tubing. If your actuator includes pre-connected tubing, ignore this step. Feed the gray indicator harness through the 5 16 upper rigging hole. For actuators with pre-connected hydraulic hose, cut the tie strap and feed the tube through the center rigging hole. Make sure that the nut is secure, but do not over tighten it as this may kink the line. Use 3M 5200 or Cicaflex 505 to seal the base of the wires and the holes. In this example, GE SCS 1000 series clear silicone is used to seal the nut and the wires. 3M5200 or Cicaflex 505 would work here as well. Fasten the upper mount. Apply sealant to the wires on the inside of the transom. Use a soap and water mixture or 70% alcohol to clean off the excess sealant. For actuators without pre-connected hydraulic hose, Use a pair of vice grips to secure the pipe nipple protruding through the transom. Thread on the elbow, coated with Teflon tape, and hand tighten. Use a half inch wrench to tighten the elbow one additional full turn. Insert the hydraulic tubing into the fitting. Apply pressure to the fitting to ensure it bottoms out and hand tighten the nut. Using a half inch wrench, turn the nut one additional full turn. Repeat this process for the other trim tab. This completes the plate hardware section of the hydraulic trim tab installation. If you have any questions, please refer to the service manual. And remember, if at any time you feel like you're in over your head, contact your authorized Bennett Marine retailer for assistance. Thanks for watching. Thank you.